Well, howdy do to you and you. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, welcome back to Feral Art. I'm sweaty. I'm glowing. Um, yes, welcome back to Feral Art. As I said last week with my sort of um, Dutch pour that didn't. Um, oh, speaking of Dutch pour that didn't. Um, I'm not sure I'm completely done with it yet, but here's the Dutch pour that didn't. Um, not real fond of the silver on the diamonds, so I imagine I'm going to do something else with those, but Melpomene, yay! Right? And Thalia, there we are. Anyway, the Dutch pour that didn't. Um, and I told you when I did it, I said, next week, I am going to do a Dutch pour. I didn't lie. So, I dug out my book of things, and I found my <laughs> cheat sheet of... Um, Back in the day when I watched Camilla Sirocco like a religion, uh, I got her recipe and it always worked. Always. Um, that doesn't mean my Dutch pours are always great, but they always worked. So I will link Canella. I'll put a, a card up there. Um, so I simply figured out if I'm going to use eight ounce bottles, how do I need to mix this? So these eight ounce bottles contain for my tube paints, which I think these all are except for one, 119 grams of Floetrol, 60 grams of paint, and 49 grams of water. Put them all in these little bottles. I threw a ball bearing in there. Bingo. For my um, base paint, my base color, it is um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. I still have a little bit of um, 2019 flow left. So every once in a while I drag it out and use it. One of these days it's going to be gone and I'm going to be sad. And then I'm going to go and look Canela up and I'm going to say, what does she use instead? Actually, I know. I've watched her since then. I just I haven't been doing a lot of Dutch pours. Um, I think I wore myself out on them. So this... Um, you take the total grams of paint that you want, you uh, divide it by 1.875, and that equals your Floetrol. Then you take your Floetrol divided by 2, and that is your paint. And then you take the total grams again, times 0 0.20. Anyway, look it up. Canela will help you. She's good. I get, I get too tied up in the numbers. Uh, my brain doesn't number well. So... The colors that I have today, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, nice and thin, you can even probably see it, I can't either, don't worry. Um, basically when it runs off the stick, it does not leave a trace, it doesn't leave anything. And then in here, I have Chroma Acryl White, because I want to know what it's going to do. And then I have Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I have Arteza Violet, which I did not write down. I have Deco Art Americana Decor 24 Karat Gold. I have Pebeo Nut. I have Artist Loft. Metallic Cobalt Blue. And I have Pebeo Studio Iridescent Violet Blue. 
then this is actually Liquitex Prism Violet. I should probably just go back and delete this whole thing and start again, but I'm too stubborn. Y'all would stick with me. Dang it. Liquitex Basics Prism Violet. Okay. So, I'm sorry. I'm a little scattered. It's been kind of a crazy day around here, so we're trying to get ready to go on vacation, and Chris and I have been together for 20, over 21 years, 22 maybe, 21, is it 21 or 22? I think 21 years, and we've never been on a vacation. <laughs> now I know why. Uh, we're going to Costa Rica. We're going to go paint with Nate and Mina and her family and um, and a couple of other ladies that I don't know, but I'm going to know them here in a little bit. Um, we leave on March 21st. I'm very excited. That being said, let's paint. <laughs> Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fighting yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be everything that we want We could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be anything that we want You think if they said it, then they must mean it So you should feel it, so my opinion Opinions to know how you're feeling, to know if you're losing or winning. Left behind or within it, if you're sinking or swimming, existing or living. Nothing that they could do, nothing that they could say, nothing that they could do to take all the pain away. Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't. Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't. We could be everything, everything, anything that we see We could be, we could be everything that we want We could be everything, everything, anything that we see We could be, we could be anything that we want But we could be everything, everything, anything that we see We could be, we could be everything that we want We could be I saw 
saw something, but I think maybe it was a bubble that busted. Because I think it was right there. All right. So I bought the little miracle here, little miracle blow dry. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. Cause these are dream rules. This is someone else I'm not myself. Problems disappear. She could tell you the things you want to hear. She could read your mind and that she could a lie of a little lies to tell yourself a lie. Never get it wrong, it's always right. Looking the play, being the play. She is on a rule. She is on Never seen it like this. Didn't think it existed. No truth. She's not here to play, she'll get moochy But don't mistake this girl for being me Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no mm -hmm. Cause these are dream rules This is someone else, I'm not myself, no, no because I have not done what I would consider to be a successful Dutch pour in a very long time. Um, and I like this one quite a lot. So, eee! I'm gonna take what I've got here and just go around sort of kind of to the little naked bit where either, you know, it blew off or it just wasn't enough. No, I don't worry about sides too much. I went over the sides in a couple of places. I am 100% fine with that. Um, 
because I want it to look organic. I don't want this to look like, you know, something I get from freaking like Marshalls or whatever. Not to, not to slight art from Marshalls. I have a lovely, um, I have a lovely cow picture <laughs> painting of, you know, the, the mass produced variety. And I love that cow. Uh, I really do. All right, so I am going to, I'm, I'm stopping. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna go around the edges and sides and then we'll talk. How's that? I think it's great. Wet results of my beauty. You guys, this is probably about as close to ecstatic as I get. I am so, so thrilled with this blowout and you know i know it's not perfect but it's the first one that i've done that i've even liked for a long time so here we go from the bottom we have this big marvelous stemmy thing <laughs> with this big marvelous offshoot of a leaf and another and then more stem and then as we go, we get a flower. <laughs> I am tickled. I am tickled. We got some really nice cells. We have some pretty cool stuff. Um, I am so out of practice with these, but this was a ball. I had such a good time with this one. And we've got some nice cells and some neat stuff. And like I said, I, if I were braver, I would probably have run my finger through here and done some other stuff. But I'm just so tickled with the way it turned out. I don't even want to fool with it. I just want to leave it and let it dry and be beautiful. It's kind of dark in here. Sorry about that. But I really like it <laughs> look at that look at the cells and stuff lacing very nice lacing in there nice blowout not really a dutch pour it is a blowout i did not blow the base over my colors so this is a blowout i'm tickled to death with it Yay. Can't wait to see it dry. So there you go. My little, oh, with a ring board, with ring lights shining in it. It's really hard to light, you guys. So anyway, yay. Very happy, Kelly. Happy feral art. Off to do feral things that are not mean. <laughs> we'll see you when it's dry. Well, hello, everybody. Here we are with my dried results of my Dutch pour that finally turned out, and I'm pretty tickled about it. Um, I do wish that the bottom was a little thinner, but that's okay. I know how to fix that several different ways. But anyway, let's get in here and have a look. We got some nice cells. Wish I would have blown out that top a little further. Um, but as always happens, you know, where you want your paint, you never have it. Um, a lot of nice gold in there. Not showing up near like I thought it would out here, but what are you gonna do? Um, probably because the sun is weird. The sun, the wind is starting to blow, so hopefully we don't take off like a kite. Let's see if I can't get this to do a little something here. It's just not gonna shine for me. It's not very shiny outside. The sun's out, but so are the clouds, and now it's blowing snow on me. So anyway, anyway, okay. All right, get that, put that out. Oh, yeah, we're gonna blow away. All right, so there we are. Gail is here, came straight from Mina's house just to see us. So thanks so much for watching. You have a good, good, good weekend, day, whatever. <laughs> Bye. Well, hi. I tried doing my dried results outside and it was so dreary. That it just didn't look good. So I decided I'd come in and shoot some as well. I wanted you to see. Like. Like. 
I wanted you to see how this glows. And I'm still not sure it's going to... There we go. There we go. It really is pretty, you guys. Um, these colors worked incredibly well together. The whole thing is glowy. I just can't manipulate an 18 by 36 canvas and an iPad. See, look at look how that just really shines and glows. So pretty. I really do enjoy these colors together. And I enjoy this painting and I enjoyed making it. I wish maybe that I had gone ahead and blown this over up here, but that's okay. I like it anyway. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you that it's not a very, very dull painting. <laughs> it's actually kind of shiny and pretty. So anyway, there we go. We've got a lot of nice cells, a lot of cool stuff happening in here. Um, and it just worked out really well. And, uh, if you ever can't get your blowouts or Dutch pours to work correctly, do yourself a favor and go to Canela Sirocco's channel and find her mixing video and uh, follow it. <laughs> and don't deviate from it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate y'all. See you soon.